Hey guys, Big John here. Okay, so uh, yeah, anyways, everybody's catching fish today, but me. So anyways, worked all day today. Uh, came home, the wife decided to come out fishing with me. Put the boat in, start motoring out, and get out of the marina, open it up, and the motor's got no, the motor's got no power. Uh, basically no balls. <laughs> so anyways, uh, right then and there, I pretty much diagnosed it down to, to being down a cylinder. Um, it was funny, I had I had uh, one of my fishing buddies there out with me uh, a couple weeks ago, Robert, and he goes, eh, it sounds like you got a little mist there. Uh, I didn't really notice it. It worked fine after that. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what the problem is here. Let's pop the cowling. Okay, I'm going to take the camera off me, guys, and put you right on the motor here. So, okay, guys. What you see here are three coil packs, okay? Um, so basically, uh, what I did is, um, I, with the motor running, I popped this one, this, this, this off of uh, cylinder number one, and the motor uh, pretty much died, uh, died out. So I knew it wasn't that cylinder, because the motor will run with two cylinders, but it won't stay running off one cylinder so so I put that cap back on and uh, started up again and I popped this this off the, uh, the second coil as soon as I popped it off the second coil there was no change in the idle right then and there I knew that this was the the cylinder that's down I confirmed it by putting that back on and taking this one off while I was running and it stalled out again so that confirmed that there was something going on with the number two cylinder. Uh, so then, anyways, I'll bring you back here. You got these three relays here. Uh, so that's the first thing I look for. I always look for the easy stuff first, guys. I don't know if you can see the one relay down there. So the first thing I did is I um, unhooked the number one relay, uh, and I put it on the number two relay and switched everything back up. And I still wasn't getting any spark out of this cylinder. I even put my, I even, I popped the cap and even put my finger on the end. I wasn't getting nothing. I did it with these. I almost got electrocuted. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got to replace that boot on that cap too. But that's not the problem. So then, um, what I said, okay, so it's not the relays. I said, I want to confirm this. You know, I, I don't want to play around. Uh, so what I did is I took the number one I, I, I took the number one and the number two uh, coils off and I put the number two up to the number one and the one down to the number two and and then I started it and now my top cylinder was the one that wasn't running so right then and there I knew okay it's the coil uh, so yeah guys, that's what's up with the boat. Now I just gotta figure out how much it is for a new coil and order a new one. I'll change it. It's it's real easy to change there. Uh, but yeah, um, we'll see. If they're really expensive, maybe I'll look for a used one, uh, used coil. Um, but we'll see what happens. It's a great motor. Uh, and it's amazing. My buddy uh, that I had out a couple weeks ago, he's a mechanic. He, he did say it sounds like uh, it's got a little bit of a mess. Uh, he was thinking the spark plug, uh, and and that would have been nice, but uh, I took it off right from here and verified that there's no spark even coming from the coil. So, anyways, guys, that's the problem, and uh, we'll get her fixed and get tank back on the water soon. There we go, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay positive. Don't be negative.